Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. My name is Chris Whelan. I'm the director of the Wellington Centre of Business Excellence based in New Zealand. I want to talk to you today about the two most important words in your business, the two most important words right now, the two most important words forever. And those words are test and measure. Right? Quite simply, test and measure. And what I mean by that is that if you don't know the numbers in your business, if you don't know how many leads you're getting every day, every week, every month, every year, if you don't know what it costs you to acquire a new customer, what it costs you to, to deliver a job, it depends on what you're doing. If you don't know how many productive hours your, your employees have got, so if you're a plumber or an artisan or you're a builder and you don't know how many, your utilization rate, if you're not measuring that, it's quite simply, you cannot measure what you can't, you can't manage, sorry, what you can't measure. So testing and measuring becomes absolutely essential. And it's important, I'll give you a sporting analogy. Richie McCall, one of the greatest All Blacks of all time, didn't know what the score was, how would he know whether he's winning or losing? If you don't know where the goalposts are, you don't know where to aim, so you don't know how to actually go forward. Some people turn around and say, oh, yeah, I'm really not good at numbers, I'm, I'm a tech, I'm not actually a business person. Well, actually, we're all in the game of profit. No matter what the actual detail is that you're doing in your business, if you're running a business, you're working um, in the private sector, you're in the game of profit, and you need to know the score, you need to know how to test and measure. And let me give you a quick example, a couple of examples of that, really. Why do I say testing and measuring are the two most important words to grow your business? And this is all about growth, right? So quite simply, if you go to marketing, marketing is nothing more, nothing more complicated, nothing more difficult than pure maths. If you speak to your accountant, he or she will tell you quite rightly that marketing on the profit and loss goes under expenses. I'm saying to you as a business coach, someone who helps businesses grow, helps businesses achieve their true potential, I'm telling you that marketing, in fact, is maths, it's an investment, but it's an investment only if you test and measure what you do. Let me give you a quick example, two, two scenarios to illustrate what I mean. In scenario A, in fact, in both scenarios, you spend $10,000. In scenario A, though, you acquire five leads, and those five leads become five customers. Each of them spends $10,000, so you get a revenue in that situation of $50,000. Fantastic. Let's assume you've got a gross margin of, let's call it 10%, make it nice and easy. It means you've got a and a gross profit there of $45,000, of course, less the initial $10,000 that you put in. So you've got a net profit of $35,000. Fantastic. Well done. Scenario two, you spend the same $10,000. You've got the same 10% gross margin, but you only get one customer. And that customer, this is a good thing, that customer spends $100,000 with you. So your net profit there is, uh, sorry, your gross profit is $90,000, uh, whatever that is, 10%, $90,000, correct? less than the 10,000 that you initially spent, so your net profit in that scenario be $80,000. Here's a question for you. Which of those two scenarios do you do more of? Short answer is both. Because both of them give you a positive return on investment. 35,000 in the first instance, 80,000 in the second instance. Now you might choose for other reasons to do you know, more of B and less of A. There might be reasons for that. You might decide, as one of my clients did recently, that they want lots of smaller customers, so they'll take the 35000 and and roll that in because they think that the long-term lifetime value of those customers might be good. That's a, absolutely could be a legitimate thing. But here's the, number, here's the reality. If you're testing and measuring, you know the numbers, then what you've then got yourself there is not at a cost for your marketing. You've got a limitless marketing budget because you've got a positive return on investment. My only question to you is going to be, how many $10,000 can you spend to keep getting the 35, keep getting the 80 every single time? Do you understand? The key issue there is you tested, you measured, and you moved marketing from an expense in your profit and loss to an investment. Fantastic news for your business. And if you want to know more about that, give me a shout. My number is on the bottom of the screen there. Give me a shout, either a WhatsApp or a text message, or even better, a call, much, much better. Drop me an email, and let's see how we take this in your business and apply it so that your business can move up to the next level, so that you can achieve your true potential as a business owner and as a business itself. You can help your community, you can help your staff, you can grow your profit. I look forward to hearing from you. It's Chris at the Center of Business Excellence. Have a fantastic day.